This is the Asian Development Tour, or ADT for short. The developmental circuit of the Asian Tour with its aims of ultimately creating a breeding ground for emerging stars across Asia and around the world. The fifth leg of this year's ADT calendar takes us to the west coast of the Malaysian Peninsula and once again to the Seri Selangor Golf Club for one of the most popular tournaments of the season, the PKNS Selangor Masters. PKNS uh, has been uh, sponsoring this event for the past three years. We hope the players that go through this event can further up their career and actually move up to the international levels. As an organisation, we support the state's ambition to develop sportsmen. Not only in golf, in football and in cycling and many other areas. But golf is one of our major ones. It's a key component of our setup. I really hope that uh, one day our local players will be able to join the likes of the major players of the world. We hope that the exposure to the competition organised by Asian Tour uh, will actually condition our players for future growth. With the end of the ADT season in sight, players battled it out to get inside the top 10 on the money list as only the cream of the crop will earn coveted Asian Tour cards for 2025. All ADT events also receive official World Golf Ranking Points. I think I've hit the ball really well. I'm hitting a lot of fairways, I'm hitting a lot of solid iron shots, but the putter is letting me down a little bit, so just trying to stay patient. Hopefully, it, it starts uh, heating up again. ADC has been a very good development tour for us players to uh, to even come down, or, or for for new guys to you know climb up the the board. Nowadays, people are playing very good, so the quality and, and the skills at the moment is very high. There are two goals I had beginning of this year. One is to finish number one in the Order of Merit in PGTI. The other one is to get my Asian Tour card back. Unfortunately, I had to miss uh, a couple of events on the ADT, which basically has set me back, but if I win a couple, you know, I'll be right back on target. So that's how things stack up going into the final round here at Sri Selangor. Two-time Asian Tour champion Rahil Ganji has built a five-shot lead over last year's runner-up here in Selangor, Dayan Lawson. Yuprayong and Lim to lift a shot further back. So with that said, let's keep you up to speed with what's already happened this morning. Starting with Usit Supapramai. Start of the day two over par. This was his second birdie of the day at the eighth to slide him inside the top ten. One of the local lads, Paul San. This was a birdie putt at the six. He started the day one under par and this took into two under. Sharifuddin Arifin started the day level par. This was an excellent approach into the fourth. He would also sprinkle in birdies at two, six and eight. Alongside drop shots at one and three. And Ruchanapong Yuparayong started the day six back. This was his tee shot at the par three third. He would also pick up a birdie at the second, so a fine tee shot helping Yuprayong pick up back-to-back -back birdies to move to seven under par and solo second. How about Dayan Lawson starting the day five back? Needed a fast start. This certainly would help. That was a birdie on the fourth, taking him to six under. Rahil Ganji looking to complete a wire-to-wire -wire victory this week in Malaysia. This was a par putt at the fifth, and well, that was the second bogey of the day along with one drop shot at the second. Marcus Lim, the highest placed Malaysian going into the final round. Drop shots at one and four, did pick up birdies at five and six, and this wonderful tee shot at eight, setting up a birdie to move the Malaysian to red figures for the day. 
So Ganji's commanding overnight lead trimmed to just two. Yu Prayong, Lim, and Lawson all creeping up behind the 45-year-old Indian. So out to the golf course we go. And Yu Prayong at the eighth. Already saw Marcus Lim hit a wonderful tee shot in here en route to a birdie. And Chanapong just leaking that a little wide. Playing in the final group with Dayan Lawson, who came ever so close here last year. Runner up finish for Lawson in 2023. Looking to go one better in 24. Oh, well done there. Lovely tee shot for the man known as Digger. Now, Paul Sun. Reach the back nine. This is third shot to the par four tenth. And chance to save par there. He turned in 35, so we'll look to consolidate that solid start. Now, Rahil Ganji shares a birthday with the great Mahatma Gandhi. Rahil Ganji is going to turn uh, sprightly 46. He's not thinking about that right now. He's just trying to cling on to this lead. That's just on the wrong side of the swale for Rahil. Sharifuddin Arifin, similar spot to where we saw San earlier. And a slightly better result. So a delicate little one for Yu Prayong. He's got to throw it out a little bit right, try and use the camber of the slope to funnel it back. Oh, beautifully judged there. Great touch. But still a bit of work to do. And to the medalist at the Southeast Asian Games a couple years ago in Hanoi. For Malaysia, Marcus Lim. This is a lengthy birdie putt at nine. And that's going to be a pretty lengthy par putt. Now, Rahil slow up and over this little hump but should gather pace around the cup we'll have to be careful with this well done Rahil important putt momentum wise for Paul Sun this for par at 10 who gave it the early walk he's Kevin Nardin that's a great up and down for Paul Sun after a slightly wayward tee shot now, Digger Lawson, can he take a step closer to Ganji? This would certainly apply some pressure, and he's got it. Dayan Lawson to within one. Rahil Ganji's overnight lead has shrunk down to the slimmest of margins as we head towards the back nine here at Sri Selangor. You're watching the final round highlights of the PKNS Selengo Masters, an ever-present event on the tour's calendar and one of the more popular locations for the players to visit. I would like to thank PKNS as well as, 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 well as the Asian Development Tour for organising this event. And it's been a successful one and we hope that we can continue this event. Next year we have the Visit Selengo year and I think uh, coincide with that, uh, this event will uh, help to spur or boost the tourism in the state of Slango and especially with the coming of more good players to play in this event, we hope that it will be one of the events in the uh, tourism calendar of the state. So let's return you to the action here at Sri Selango with some highlights while you were away. Kosuke Hamamoto lost his Asian tour card at the end of 2023, looking to get it back by finishing inside the top 10 on the ADT money list. At the end of this year, that was a fine shot into the 10th for the tie. 
from one tight to another. Yu Prayong, this a birdie putt at nine. That was his third of the day. Dayan Lawson would drop a shot at this hole. He would get up to seven under par. Paul San looking to continue. Some good progress in this final round. Big right to left breaker at the 12th. Found its target. That was his second birdie of the day. So Rahil Ganji has been caught by Runchana Pong Yu Prayong. It is getting very tight at the top of the leaderboard between those top four players. Any one of them certainly still with a chance of winning this fifth ADT title of the year. Now Ganji head must be spinning a little bit after surrendering that five shot lead, but he's got a wealth of experience to draw on. He knows how to get the job done as a professional. Tee shot here at 12. That's a very clever shot, using the contours of the green nicely. Beautiful shot in for Rahil Ganji. Now Vong Chasit at the par. 5-13th, flirted with the penalty area, but his ball remained on dry land, and that is going to be left for birdie for Sarut Vongchasit. Now, you probably aren't going to be a very quick putt from the back edge of this 12th green. Slides down towards the penalty area that fronts this par 3. Yeah, gave it a good try, but most importantly, that's got good speed on it. Should be a relatively stress-free par putt. Now, Marcus Lim, this would vault him into the outright lead. This is an eagle putt at the 13th. Down the hill, should meander to the right, right about there. Good for so long for the graduate of Sacred Heart University. Now, Dayan Lawson would have learned a thing or two watching Yu Prayong's birdie putt. One of the 10 men who secured Asian tour cards for 2024 by virtue of a top 10 finish on the ADT order of merit at the end of 2023. Now, Ganji to reclaim the top spot by himself. That's going to be a very important birdie putt. He'll just settle Rahil down. He's two over on the day, but back up into the solo lead at eight under. So, Ganji's birdie at 12. Pivotal. Just gives him a little bit of breathing room now. Lim and Yu Prayong just one shot back. Marcus did successfully convert that two putt for his birdie at the 13 to take him to seven under par. As did Sarut Vongchasit who unfortunately would bogey the 14th. This is second to the 16th. Lovely shot there. Setting up a birdie. Taking Vongchasit back to two under par. Shalifudin Arifin has already dropped two shots on this backside. That was a much needed birdie at the 17th. Took him back to even par for the day and back inside the top 10 on the leaderboard. But Rahil Ganji has picked up another birdie to get him to nine under par. But still, Ranchanapong Yuprayang just not leaving the 45 year old alone. He's picked up a birdie of his own to get himself within one of Rahil once again. Now, second shot to the 16th coming downhill for Rahil. His first Asian Tour title 20 years ago. He's been out here for a while. He knows how to use the slopes on these greens. Excellent shot there from the Indian. He's another veteran player from the subcontinent. Seiko Rahman, Bangladesh's finest. Second into the last. He's two over par for the championship. Oh, make that even par. Siddhikur Rahman, a walk-off eagle to end his week here in Selangor. Prayong, tricky little spot here, left of 16. Pitching from well below the level of the green, not much green to work with, and well, that could just make Rahil Ganji's life a little bit easier. Closes with an eagle and a round of 69. Well played, Siddhikur Rahman. And Dayan Lawson also off the green here at 16, but a much easier up and down than what faced Chanapong Yuprayong. Should start to hang a right there as it crests the top of the mound. Keep feeding, keep feeding. A lovely touch there from Digger. Now playing alongside Arifin and... 
Siddiqui Rahman, Paul Sun to end his week with a par. Oh, it's a real shame, but you can take a, a great measure of pride in a solid finish this week in Selangor. It's going to be a share of seventh for Paul Sun, a closing round of 70. Now, you pray on not the length of par, but the big tie would have wanted on 16. Traveling with some pace. Oof. And that's still not stone dead yet. Now, Hamamoto. Back working with his coach, Anot Tanka Molprasnet, brother of EDT legend and Asian tour winner, Pavit Tanka Molprasnet. That's a lovely putt from Hamamoto to pick up a birdie at 17. Back to even for his final round. Ukraine to limit the damage to just one. Dear, and that's costly. That is hugely costly for you, Prayong. Now, Marcus Lim. To get to wait under. Running out of holes is the Malaysian, and well, that one never really started high enough, unfortunately. Now, Ganji. To get to 10 under par and build that lead back up to three. Well done, Rahil Ganji. Those birdies at 12, and once again here on 16, critical for Rahil. Trying to get back in the winner's circle for the first time since 2018. He picked up the Asia Pacific Diamond Cup and an ADT title as well. He leads by three. Now, Sarat Vongcesic is looking to tidy things up for Pap on the last. That's a nice week for Sarut. He's going to have a top five finish here in event number five on the Asian Development Tour season. Now, Ganji, second to the 17th. Just can't afford to miss this green left. Start that one out well right. Ooh. Well, it's on the green, but that is in potential three putt country for Ganji. Lawson needs something special if he wants to have any sort of chance of toppling Rahil. Just look out about 15 feet right, try and use that slope to worm this down to the hole. Sparkling shot from Day and Lawson. Still trying to make a contest of this final round. Hamamoto for a par on 18. Look at how far left he's aiming here. A lot of swing in this. Oh my goodness, just hangs on the edge. Really unlucky there for Kosuke. A late bogey and like Paul San will topple out of the top five, but still a top ten finish for the tie. Yeah, you pray on just short of the green on 17, so coming up and over a little rise. Great touch here. Yeah, sportingly acknowledged by Day and Lawson. And it was a fabulously played shot. And Marcus Lim. Unfortunately, this is for bogey at the demanding 18th. So he'll take three putts at the last, but that'll be a top three finish for Marcus Lim, who already has a win on the domestic tour here in Malaysia, the Toyota Tour. I'm sure it'll be a case of when, not if, he contends on the Asian Tour in the years to come. Ganji, very quick here, straight down the slope on 17. Dean Lawson in close, and well, is Rahil going to be putting for par before Dean Lawson putts for birdie? Ah, Shaban Hussein, one of the great characters of Malaysian golf. Watching the action here, he's played a bit of golf with Rahil Ganji through the years. He knows this is an important putt, and oh no, rejected. Rahil Ganji, a three-putt bogey at the worst possible time. Especially with Dayan Lawson in tight for birdie. So a two-shot swing and a one-shot margin for Rahil Ganji with the 18th hole to play. His championship not over just yet, folks. Marcus Lim's clubhouse target of six under par unlikely to be enough, but he's going to take a great measure of pride in a solid performance on home soil. 
Ganji safely found the fairy with his tee shot. You can see that slopey 18th green up ahead. Ganji will take anything on the putting surface here. Is that going to make it up the rise? I don't think so. It's just such a tough old location in this final round on the 18th. Highest point of the green. Ganji also just coming off a three putt. Now Lawson. Can he apply the pressure? He hit a stunner into 17. And he's stalking it. He's after it. Ooh, just a little long, and that's going to catch the back slope. And, and it's probably about a, maybe a foot or two away from working its way back towards the pin. Now Lawson also faced with a difficult two, but he can scarcely believe it. coming out on top that is the question Lawson first gonna come up this slope and then hang a right once it gets onto that top plateau oh we gave it a run that's just wormed a couple of feet by great effort though from Dayan now Kanji has two putts for it from here easier said than done though Just lacked a little conviction. <laughs> he has the advantage of that one shot lead. Uh, Yu Prayong. Could get to seven under with this. Agonizingly close for last year's co runner up with Lawson. And he's going to end his week at six under alongside Marcus Lim. Another good tournament at Sri Selengo for. On Chanapong Yuprayong. So Ganji for the title. Oh my goodness. And there is life for Dayan Lawson. Ganji. That's a closing round of 73. Eight under par the mark. Lawson Day in Laws and Holes. We're going to head back down 18 for a sudden death playoff. But a slow start and a poor finish for Rahil Ganji. He's the fate of the Indian in the hands of this man. For a playoff. Day in Lawson, right to left up. Oh, and he misses as well. Not the way you want to win a golf tournament, but Rahil Ganji will certainly take it. 20 years removed from a first win on the Asian Tour. Six years since he last tasted victory on the Asian Tour and Asian Development Tours. And well, the comeback is complete for Rahil Ganji. Had his battles with poor form and, a, and an intercostal injury in his ribs that really hampered his ability to get back to his best but Rahil Ganji you're a winner again on the Asia Development Tour he survives the stern test of Sri Selengo final confirmation Ganji by one over Dayan Lawson Marcus Lim the highest placed Malaysian he'll chair third with Runchanapong Yuprayong but let's hear from the man of the moment your winner here at the PKNS Selengo Masters Rahil Ganji fantastic I was breathing a sigh of relief. Um, not the best way to win, but it's a way to win. I haven't played much golf in the last couple of months, so I was really not in the best frame of mind. But there's only one thing my wife kept telling me, you can do it. That's all that matters at the end. Well, and all that matters at the end is Rahil Ganji's in the winner's circle once again. He moves into second spot on the Asian Development Order of Merit, just behind Pakistan's Ahmad Baig, Dayan Lawson holding firm in that third spot. And Chanapong Yuprayong rounding out of the top five. Remember, at the end of the season, the top 10 on that order of merit will clinch Asian Tour cards for 2025. Welcome back to the winner's circle, Rahil Ganji. You're our winner here at the PKNS Selangor Masters. We'll see you next time on the Asian Development Tour.